Dynamite is one of the more difficult brawlers to play, but he's also one of the most fun brawlers to play. Using him is a challenge all on its own, like winning and playing well is really hard to do. But I think that's what makes him so popular. When you're able to win matches using a brawler that's not exactly the most meta, it feels really rewarding. And today I'm gonna put that theory to the test by going from bronze to masters only using Dynamite. Now, there is a Dynamite skin in the shop that I had my eye on for a while, and also, if you guys are buying anything in the shop, make sure you use my creator code. I can see how many of you guys use it every single time, and it really means a lot to me. This skin is sick. He's tossing brains around. I have yet to play a single game this season. I don't know what the modifiers are looking like, and we're just gonna find that all out as we go. Okay, somehow we're in bronze and my teammates died and I actually died too. And I don't really know what happened in the first round, but we do, like, I'm not gonna lose to bots, surely, right? Okay, there we go. Super, big brain, done. Okay, there was someone on my team named Skibbity Toilet. Or, like, the bot Rico is frying. Okay, I gotta lock in here. I actually have to lock in. We're not losing to bots. We are not lo- Okay, there's one hypercharge, and there we go. All right, how are we already almost losing the bot? It's unbelievable. How did you do 8,000 damage? Regardless, we make it out of the first match with a victory, and I'm hoping that we can just keep this going, and it's not gonna be this stressful, because if I'm already losing in bronze, I'm gonna lose my mind by the time I'm in silver. After almost losing the first game, I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen again. And so after winning two more matches, I got my first ranked drop of the season. Okay, nice, there we go. Promotion to bronze two. This will give me my first ranked drop and I am hunting the skin from two seasons ago and last season, I think. I don't even remember anymore. I know I don't have the Gale skin and it looks like I'm not gonna get it here. We're already getting started with the bling and I can't wait to see how much more bling I get to get. And after that, it was time to put my skills to the test versus real actual players and not bots. Nice, there we go. GG, there it is, yep, okay. There we go, I got 10, we should just win. Nice, there we go, all right. At least now I know that I can hang with bronze players because we promote to bronze three, where I get another ranked drop here in a second. Hoping for a skin. Please give me a skin. I don't know why I expect anything else except for bling, but you know, maybe I'll just lower the expectations a bit. But for now, a few more wins and we're on to silver. But while I'm running around killing bots, let me tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, NBA 2K Mobile. Own the court and rewrite history with NBA 2K Mobile Season 7. Dive into the biggest season of NBA 2K Mobile yet with updated animations, new game modes, and immersive events that scratch your basketball itch all year long. Collect top NBA stars like never before and build Build your dream team. Every game brings new challenges, complete with lifelike gameplay and stunning graphics. You can also experience the full spectrum of NBA basketball greatness from some of the best players to ever touch the court. Season 7 also brings a new game mode, Rewind, where you can manifest your hoop dreams with a game mode designed for real basketball fans. Recreate the biggest moments of the NBA season or rewrite history altogether. Assemble the players from your favorite team and play through every single game in the current NBA season. And you can participate in daily challenges to climb the leaderboard and unlock exclusive rewards. And finally, in Season 7 of NBA 2K Mobile, there are now 500 plus total animations compared to the 100 in the previous season. A lot of your favorite players now have new animations, signature layups, and signature dunks. You guys can download 2K Mobile and try it out today using my link in the description. But those games leading up to silver wouldn't be easy. I gotta be honest, I'm not sure how we just lost that match. Oh my god, oh my god, that explains so much. We're get me out of bronze get me out of bronze get me out of here ASAP Please get me out of here. I like I just but eventually I got things figured out and I made it to silver without any more problems There we go. Okay, that win right there should promote me to silver. Okay glad I got there without any more losses But we still have a very long way to go here going through bronze was actually a pretty nice warm-up I got to play a bunch of different game modes and practice my dynamite 
in those different situations that I'm gonna be in. And so that was actually pretty useful. And obviously, as I keep going higher and higher up, I'm gonna have to keep refining that skill even more, especially when we get to Legendary 3. That stretch between Legendary 3 and Masters is where you lose the ranked boost, and that place is a prison, dude. It's a prison, it's bad. Our next ranked drop, what do we get? I'd be surprised if one wasn't bling. Well, that was really fast. We're on the silver three now with our next ranked drop. I mean, like at least it's not bling. At least it's not bling. It's a spray that I'm never gonna put on, but at least it's not bling. So far, winning has come really, really easy. I haven't lost in a while and Dynamite is just actually a good brawler in a lot of different situations. It's like the players at this level don't know how to avoid his shots. And obviously that's really good for me. So hopefully we can put that to use as we continue on towards gold. These guys have no idea what's going on. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Uh, this is GG. These guys, these guys. There it is. Gold won on the promotion plus 210 right there. Really, these games have been kind of uneventful. It's a lot of just, wait a minute, what? Oh, wait, this is actually a six skin. All right, we'll put this one on. Nice. But yeah, most of these games so far have been very chill, very nonchalant, very not competitive. And so I'm hoping that as we keep climbing from gold to diamond, we'll find that competitiveness and that challenge that I've been looking for. Not gonna lie, I'm not finding it. These guys are still, they're kind of like silvers, but their rank is yellow instead of gray. So it's like not much of a step up yet. But as I continued to work my way through gold, I did manage to stumble upon an unexpected obstacle. No! He beat me to picking dynamite. All right, so I guess if this happens, he suggested someone else. The BM here is crazy. But what I'm going to do is just supplement dynamite by playing another thrower, whether it's barley or tick, sprout, anything like that. I feel like would be fine as a supplement. It's just a little annoying that dynamite gets taken. You better be the best dynamite I've ever seen. Also, our teammate Beef Nugs is not playing. Oh, there he is. It's not exactly the same, but I feel like playing Barley has a lot of the same challenges that playing dynamite has, where assassins are really good versus you. And you know, if you know how to play versus a thrower, you're at a disadvantage. Throwers are also only good on certain maps. Like you, you shouldn't be playing a thrower on this map ever for the most part, right? But that's where the challenge is gonna come in with Dynamite is where I'm gonna be playing on maps that uh, aren't necessarily the best for him. Hello, you all right? <laughs> you good, dog? Okay, a few more shots, we put this game to bed. And GG, there it is. All right, we get through our Barley game and hopefully there's not too many more of those. Oh, gold to promotion too. All right, we take those, we get the thumbs up. I get a friend request too? So he takes Dynamite in space, Ninja wants to be my friend? Yeah, nice try, pal. Give me my skin. <laughs> and I guess history does tend to repeat itself. Oh my gosh, it just happened again. How, dude, how? Why are so many people picking Dynamite? Like, Dynamite is not a good brawler by any means in this meta. And when you're in gold, you can play literally whatever brawler you want out of all 84 of them. And this guy picks Dynamite. Like, it just... Again, it shows that even if he's not good, he's still really popular and people love playing him. And as if other players taking my precious dynamite for me wasn't a challenge enough, in my very next match, I got put on Snake Prairie. Snake Prairie might be Mike's worst map of all time, anywhere, anytime at all, down here in the deep blue sea. Like, like why? Why is this in ranked right now? Okay, well, we are up to a win right now, but I feel like this is going to get out of hand because random players also tend to not know how to play bounty. What is this guy doing? Okay, we just need one more, one more elimination and we win. Kill the Daryl. Yes! There we go. Come on, boys. Let's go. That map 
in like a masters or a legendary lobby that that map is going to be a prison but again we'll worry about that when the skill level increases for now we'll take the easier wins we'll get it how we can we'll get our bling obviously because we can't make a video without getting a lot of bling and we'll keep moving on after barely scraping by in snake prairie i actually had some easy matches and when i say easy i mean this brawl ball match right here in particular which by the way is a fantastic map for dynamite i mean these guys never even stood a chance but <laughs> yeah the match ended pretty much before i could even finish this voiceover oh my gosh seven no 13 seconds 13 seconds that game took almost unbelievable but we promote to diamond mythic drop 500 credits is delicious we will take that man we will take that we're slowly building up our fame but now it's important to note that in diamond you ban a brawler before picking one so now not only do i have to worry about other players taking dynamite from me i have to worry about them banning him too to kick off day two we are starting in diamond where they force the draft phase upon us but players just don't know how to draft at all and it really does make for some chaotic matches like this guy who picks primo at the last pick to verse a surge and goes one and eight thus we lose the game you would think that the draft would add more order and stability and balance and make things more competitive but at this level it just makes for a mess but still even with the drafts being uh why is this guy playing squeak yeah not great i still managed to make my way to diamond two there we go diamond two promotion we're gonna get our first ranked drop of the day i'm not expecting anything when is it not gonna be bling that's the real question here but anyway we are well on our way towards reaching diamond three and then after that onto mythic so i'm just gonna keep my head down and just keep grinding and so with my newly acquired rank i thought that the silly bands in the draft phase would subside but no that wasn't the case at all dynamite like, just got banned right in front of my eyes i just it's shooting star it's not a good ban oh someone save me from diamond please please get me out of here how did we just tie how does that make any sense? We tied the first game, we lost the second one, we won the third one, and then it ends in a tie after I go 25 in two with 300,000 damage. I don't wanna hear anyone say, you lost because you picked Mike. Really? Really? Dynamite is bad again. There, there's a few things that you can guarantee at this level. One is someone is randomly going to ban Dynamite. Two, someone's going to make a bad pick. And three, someone is going to pick Edgar. That's why I've been banning him every single time. Also, Edgar really counters Dynamite, even if you're bad at the game. So uh, that has been my strategy so far. But anyway, back to Barley Duty. Nice, there we go. It turns out I might be one of the best Barley players in the world, dare I say it, but there we go. Oh boy, let's see what this draft is looking like. Gonna go over here, ban Edgar. Please don't ban Mike, please don't ban Mike, please don't ban Mike, please don't ban Mike. Nice, okay, now I just need no one to take Dynamite. As much as it doesn't make sense to ban him, it doesn't make sense to even, no, 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 no. Please don't, uh, who do I suggest? Play Frank. You love Frank. You love Frank. Yeah, play Frank. Yes, he picked Frank! <laughs> I'm sorry, I set him up for failure. He's playing Frank on Shooting Star. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do it to you like that, but... And then I take Dynamite, it's just... <laughs> Listen, guys, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, all right? To get the brawler you want, you gotta... You might have to step on some people, all right? We're losing! Boys, we're losing! Ugh. I panicked and I suggested Frank to that guy. And honestly, we deserve to lose. I feel bad for that. I just picked any brawler that I saw in front of me. I may have lost that match, but I did learn something valuable. Not to play Frank on Shooting Star, but also that if I suggest other brawlers to my teammates, maybe it'll deter them from playing Dynamite so that I can play him more often. At least that's the plan. Let's see if it actually works out. Anyway, after that, it was on to Diamond 3. Diamond 3 promotion. Let's see what we can get here. Come <laughs> And after just a few more wins, I was one single win away from reaching Mythic. Okay, if I just stay alive over here, we should win the game. Like if I can prevent them from progressing up this side of the map, like so. Like so. Right on there, boom, you're dead. See you later, pal. 
I think Crow's just gonna jump on me. Yeah, well. See you later, pal. Hypercharge. I mean, that's GG. There we go. Come on, man. One more game, we promote to Mythic. I feel so bad. He just came out of spawn. It's not exactly Mike's best map here either, but I mean, do some chip damage there. Like, it's hard to get into this position, but they don't have a wall break or anything to deal with this. And so really, this is just free real estate. You're dead again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No! Okay, I took out the spike in exchange, so it's not terrible. We are still up by 59%. This is looking like a free win. Go, go, go. There it is, GG. Nice! All right. Mythic promotion. Here we come. 15 and 3. Tough game for the boys. But anyway, we're on to Mythic 1. And so far, so good. Playing Mike. Legendary drop. Thousand bling? I could have gotten credits for that. Like, anyway, so far, the hardest part of this challenge is getting to play Dynamite. He gets banned or picked a lot more often than I had anticipated because he's just not that good of a brawler. But I guess the reason for that is because he's popular. People love playing Dynamite. They have fun playing him. And, and I guess because people play him so often, people hate playing against him. And so they just ban him. And I guess that's the logic. My journey from Mythic 1 to Mythic 2 was a walk in the park, to say the least. And before before I knew it, I was opening my next ranked drop. Please, give me something good. <laughs> and then I took a break for a few hours, and that's why the timer is randomly down to 12 days and 9 hours left. But even that time away from the game couldn't stop the carnage that I was bringing. Oh, there we go. You're dead. And you're dead. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Brock, I need you to stay alive. You cannot die. So just heal up. You got 700 HP. Just heal up. <laughs> nice. This Carl doesn't know. He has no idea I'm here. He just takes one. I need him to get like two tiles closer than he's getting right now. We go now. We go now. We go now. It's done. GG. See you later, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Mr. P just used his chicken coop. A little bit of a silly play because he just used a chicken coop. I just win this round and we're in Mythic 3. Okay, this is looking really good, honestly. See you later, pal. GG's only. There it is, baby. Let's go. Come on. Nine and one. I mean, listen, I popped off that game. Those guys didn't have a chance. This balls wants to be my friend. Anyway, Mythic 3 promotion. We get a rank drop here coming up, and it's definitely going to be bling. Oh, finally. Yes. Yes. I told you. I Dude, I thought I had all the skins, and now it's all come full circle. Happy to get that one under the belt, and I feel like this might have been more fitting in the summer, but now it's almost November, and I just got him, so we'll take it. Few more wins, we make it to Legendary, which is where things are actually gonna get scary. Because in Legendary 3, we lose our ranked boost, and it's like you win one game, that's great. But if you lose one game, you get set back like four or five wins, and it's just... <laughs> It's not a fun time. But again, I'm going to worry about the task at hand here and make sure that I work my way up to Legendary in the first place because Mythic can really go sideways if I don't pay attention. Just another match played in Mythic 3, by the way. Uh, I'm getting a lot of friend requests when I play well, which is funny, but uh, I mean, this is what Dynamite can do when you know how to play him. It's a lot of fun. I can see why he's so popular. Now, this match here, this is going to be tough. We got two tanks and Gale versus my Dynamite. 
and my teammates. So, I mean, it can, I'm not trading with you. I wish I could, but I'm not playing the dragon, unfortunately. Especially in a game like Brawl Ball that is so fast paced and it's just, wait, John? I think, wait, did we just score? Of course not, of course not. Go, fan, go. This is going way better than I thought it would. I got hypercharge off the rip here. I'm going to get aggressive. Watch this. Drop that right in the bread basket. Go, dragon. Go. Put the tornado up. It doesn't matter. Let's go, man. Come on. Oh, see you later, girl. <laughs> And we crack this open so we can just run it, and there we go. Okay, maybe not. Okay, there we go. All right, nice. All right, there we go, finally. Eventually, it's gotta go in. And that'll promote me to legendary one. We do get a legendary drop as well. We are praying for credits, because I've been trying to get my fame up, because I think it looks cool, and we get a 1,000 points. Okay, it's not great, but that is where I'm gonna end day two's progress, because I'm gonna need all the stamina I can get when I go to finish the final stretch of this push. The goal for today is to finish the challenge, but doing that is going to be a lot more difficult than I'm making it seem. Because everything up until this point was easy, but this final stretch to Masters is like doing everything I've already done, but 10 times over. But first things first, we do have to get to Legendary 2, so I'm curious to see what our matches are going to be looking like today. But the day was already starting out rough. Why is Dynamite getting banned on Hard Rock Mine? It doesn't make any sense. What is me playing? And still, I was pretty happy that I was able to pick up a win. But what happens in the next game will shock you. You can't make this up. Dynamite just got banned in my very next match. Why? Somebody explain to me why everyone hates this brawler. It just, it doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. You could ban Mo. You could ban Kenji. There, like, there are so many automatic bans that are acceptable right now, and, and just everyone bans Dynamite. I. And one of the key reasons why this final stretch is the most difficult is because we started losing our ranked boost. So we don't get nearly as many points per win, but we're losing a lot more points when we lose as well. And again, obviously that means we have to win more matches to get to the next rank and to get enough points to finish the journey. And it, it just snowballs really fast when you get at this high of a level. But I was able to successfully get Dynamite in my next match and it was interesting. Okay, for some reason I'm playing mid as a dynamite. I don't know how my teammates let this one happen, but yeah, someone else really has to get up there. So this guy took Surge with his final pick and it's a clear counter to me. Then uh, Mike's not even good on this map at all. I really shouldn't be playing him, but I am anyway. And Surge is a really good pick against me because there's not a lot that I can do. And that just reinforces and shows you guys the key difference here between a player who's in Legendary and a player who's in Mythic because no one was making counter picks when I was in Mythic. I actually think there's something we can do here. Shoot him. Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> Despite the counters, still able to win the first game. So hopefully we can lock it in for game two. Why am I playing mid? Why am I carrying the gems? What is Crow's plan? He just jumped in and tried. Like, did he think he could get out with that? Okay, that's one down. Dead, 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 dead. GG's only. Let's go, boys. And in our very next game, we'd really see the counters come into play because we faced Mortis and Kenji when we had Dynamite and Barley, and obviously it, it didn't go great. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare up here. But I was able to chain a few wins together with some great progress. Okay, that win should put us... Oh, we are within striking distance of reaching Legendary 2 if we have a good win on our next one. We will promote.
Okay, well, this is going really well. I don't think I said a word. I've been so locked in. Will you stop playing with my gems? Like, just relax. Just hang out. We'll win the game. All right, looks like these guys are just throwing in the towel, which is great for us. Surge, would you stop being a weirdo? Just live with the gems. You don't got to go flex in their spawn and put the clown pin. Like, you're not cool. Anyway, 11 and 0, six points away. All right, well, one more win, we promote. That's it. There we go. A big win against Double Tanks and Gale. Not an easy match by any means, but we make it to Legendary 2 and we get our rank up reward. They gave me the huge thumbs up. These guys want to be friends. Listen, what even is this? So far, Legendary has been treating me nicely. I've only lost like one or two games today, so it's going great. But this final stretch here, it's not Legendary 2 that's scary. It's Legendary 3. That is where it's just the one thing I'm dreading is that final stretch. So... <sighs> We still got a lot to go. And then I took a break for a few days. There's no real reason for that, but that's just what happened. I haven't played in a little bit and we still have quite a ways to go to get to Legendary 3 and then hopefully on to Masters after that. So hopefully over the last few days, my mic skills haven't completely deteriorated and I can actually still play the game at a high level. Because if not, we're gonna be in big trouble. Wow, what a map to come back to. Bridge too far and my teammates are about to watch me first pick Dynamite. I would be few me <laughs> like surely we can make this work somehow like once buzz gets super and we can push up on the map like we're gonna be really good i'm getting ran down by the kenji non-stop but my teammates are actually doing really well to, to deal with this i can't do anything dude mike on this map is almost a guaranteed l i'm sorry to my teammates for doing this to you it's just it's not personal, it's just business. Oh my god! Okay, somehow, somehow we locked in enough to get that done. I, I don't think I have a single kill yet, or maybe one, but I'm sorry to my teammates, but they're doing the Lord's work here by carrying me. I can't hit the Angela when he's on the water! I just, there's nothing I can do! No! 1%! Oh my gosh! All right, game three. Come on, man. Game three. Come on. I got to get away from this. An like, the Angelo keeps running me down, man. I got to get away from him. Okay, here we go. Big damage. Big damage. Big damage. This is what we needed. This is what we needed. I got a good timing on the Angelo. Go, boys. Go. Come on. Okay, we're tied up here. We got to gotta pick up some eliminations here. Buzz missed his super. And Angelo's just teeing off on the vault now. This is not good for us. Buzz missed another super. We need you, Buzz. We lose. GG, boys. First game back. First L. Uh, like, Dynamite on this map is bad. I'm sorry to my teammates. It's just... <sighs> You know, it is what it is, man. That's just what's gonna happen on maps like that and at this high of a level where players know that if they take Kenji versus my Dynamite, they're just gonna destroy me. And same, they take Angela and Brock for the range. It's just, when I get on those situations, it's gonna be tough, man. Lucky for us, our woes wouldn't last long because I was able to pick up a win on Shooting Star in the very next match. But something interesting caught my attention. Take a look at this Piper. She turned into a bot, but look at how fast she can shoot and unload her shots. She was actually getting more kills than her real player teammates and that that was scary but we weathered the storm and got back to our winning ways after a few more matches i was swiftly reminded why ranked can be so frustrating this guy really 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 wants me to play mo he has been spam suggesting him non-stop and guess what he might throw the game when i pick dynamite but unfortunately i don't make the rules i'm sorry listen you're gonna have to let's just see let's see what he does Okay, shoots at me instantly and puts up the clown pin. Like, losing matches in ranked, I can tolerate. But stupid people, it's just so much more frustrating. Yeah, this guy wanted to shoot at me and give me the clown pin after I just put on an absolute clinic. Okay, sure. And now he wants to be my friend. Yeah, okay. Sure, pal, sure, sure. 
And if it's not teammates being annoying and shooting me and thumbsing me down and whatever, it's just players that are playing bad and helping us lose the game pretty much with this guy going four and nine as a Chester versus Buzz and Clancy. It's just, it's not great really. And we lose another hundred points. So overall progress today, not great so far. I need to string together wins consistently. Otherwise, we're dead in the water here. So I locked in and stringing together some wins is exactly what I did. And because of that, it wasn't long before I was so close to Legendary 3 that I could actually taste it. Okay, where does this win put us? We are just 13 points away from reaching Legendary 3. Come on, man. So when you're playing on a map where you're at a clear disadvantage, like this one in particular, uh, you got to find a way to win. We got to get creative here. Luckily, my teammates pick up a, a really early elimination for us which is awesome and there's some damage there and there and there boom there it is easy elim the eve over stretches and we take out the tick winning the first round i mean that couldn't have gone any better even if i tried hold on i might be able to stretch here and get a kill one second nice look i booped the mandy into the middle and if my shot didn't connect then the brock surely could have hit one so we'll help the brock take out the you gotta get creative here you gotta get creative when you're in a situation like this i'm kind of corralling the tick and the eve towards my teammates who are in better positions to pick up eliminations and this is kind of what the game's looking like there we go First game victory, we just need to do that one more time. I do think it's important for me to show a lot of these higher level matches because really me beating up on some bronze players, not that crazy. But if I'm able to win matches like this, I mean, you're dead too, GG. No? Okay, there we go. Homie, just, you just gotta heal up, man. He popped hyper chart if he misses a shot. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, somehow, some way that play worked out and we managed our Brock went eight and oh, this guy fried. Love that. Okay. GG's and legendary three, meaning we get our final ranked drop. Let's see what we can get out of this. What else could it have been really only 400 and I don't feel like doing the math amount of points for us to reach masters. Let's get that going. But that sounds a lot easier than it actually is. This is it. It's the final stretch of the push and undeniably the most difficult part, mostly because we can now start facing players that are already in masters. They know how to draft. They know how to counter it. They know how to play the game. They can do it all. And it was finally time to test my skills versus the best opponents I have faced yet. Nice, dude. Come on. My teammate's not playing. Why did he stop playing? We're about to win. Okay, he's back. He's back. He's back. Give me the rock. I can score. Give me the rock. He hit it off the post. Oh no. Yes, they're all dead. Give me the ball. Please. Yes. Yes. Come on. What a game, man. What a game. You love to see that. Oh no, we're facing Masters players. Basically, when your whole opposing team is red one, two, and three, that's not their name. It is just because when you're in Masters, they hide players' names. And so that's what we're going up against right here. They had a bunch of good bands right there. They know what they're doing. This is going to be a tough match. No, my teammate's AFK. We're in Masters, brother. He's a bot. Oh, no. Okay, well, I guess that doesn't really matter when the Bonnie's throwing like that, you know? All right, we're only down by three. This is still winnable. Very winnable game. We are winning now. We have the blue star. That, I mean, we're in a great spot to... Oh, God. We're in a great spot to throw this one, I guess. He's just sending it? No! Why would you just send it? Why? What are you doing? Average Fang player, me get super, me you super. That's just the, how the brain works sometimes. Okay. And we got this Leon kind of pinned. He just really has to shoot in one straight line and we'll kill him. There we go. 
Same thing with the Bonnie. Yeah, just shoot. All you gotta do is shoot there and, and you can get an elimination. Just shoot! In a sh Oh, we are farming these guys. They keep walking up in this little... Why do they keep walking up there when we can just box them in like that? Okay, this game's way different. 13 to nothing. Our teammates are here the whole time. We can... Oh, God! I don't feel so good. Okay. GG. Done and dusted. There it is. So if we can keep that up, we'll be good. Well, that actually couldn't have gone better for us. We got the blue star. We got a few eliminations. We destroyed some of the grass where the players like to hide. And uh, this game's as good as over. I'm sorry to say it. There it is. Free kill. We have hypercharge. We can close that gap. Please. Yes! Yes! Come on, boys! Excellent work. Good job. This is what I was saying I didn't want to have happen, but it really hasn't been a big deal, and that is one of my opponents taking Mortis. Now, he did take Mortis with the first pick, but he does still counter me, and I'd say Barley is also a better thrower than me. But my teammate takes Edgar to counter uh, their Barley, and my te other teammate took Gale to counter the Mortis. So overall, it just shows you that player, again, they know how to draft, they know how to play the game, they know how to make situations and maps turn into their favor. That's what can make these challenges so extremely difficult sometimes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on. It's they have 92. We take out everyone. 96, 97, 98. This guy's rushing here. It's hypercharge. Nice. Come on, boys. Even getting countered by Squid Mortis over here, I was still able to have a good performance, and that gives me a lot of confidence going forward. Okay, so I didn't get a chance to record this heist game live because I was so locked in. Right now, we're currently down 60 or 70 to 17%. I hit a great stun there onto the Piper. Super onto the vault, a lot of damage right there. And right here, my teammates clutch up. They get a bunch of damage in there. And now the game's almost even. And this is game three, by the way. So this is winner of this wins the match and uh, loses loser would lose a lot of points here but i pop hypercharge jesse stun doesn't matter i chuck a bunch of shots on and we win by one percent unbelievable match there unbelievable and that puts us at 8815 points so we're slowly getting there really these matches are just coming down to the wire every single time and i love the competitiveness here well mike got banned on penalty kick and i just wanted to show you guys the stat line here with my barley 11 and 3 220 thousand damage and we lost what these guys did was diabolical though these guys took two tanks and just took the ball after scoring a goal and just put it in the corner and camped it for the whole rest of the match i never want to play that ever again okay nice we got our lick back colette went crazy in that heist game we get 88 points back and it's not so bad we lose one we get one back decent points gained on both ends happy about it small update for you guys here by the way we are now at 8899 points so one big win Win will in fact be the final game if not then we're gonna have to win at least two more which you know the more matches we have to play the higher the chances we are of losing and so hopefully we can get this done we have a great map here for dynamite which is good and i love that okay there we go it's one kill All right, we are currently executing Operation Ignore the Daryl. Uh, I don't want anything to do with him. I don't think he's really gonna charge in unless he gets his super, which he just got, so that's not great, but we are able to take out... Uh, is he gonna chase? Take out the Rico there? We take out the Daryl? I mean, this is just, you love to see this. You're dead too. Oh my gosh, I am frying right now. There we go, you're dead. And... <gasps> He just kept running straight. No, this guy's a demon. That Nita really just got hit by everything and just kept running in a straight line. It's not something I... It does, wasn't on my bingo card. I just did everything for my team and we fell apart. Okay, we got our backs against the wall in what could be the final game. You just died to the bear, homie. 
Oh my god. Uh, this isn't important at all, but after that gut-wrenching loss, I did manage to pick up a win, getting me to 8,888 points. And again, it doesn't matter. I just thought that was pretty cool. And then things took a sour turn. I would lose a few matches, then win a few, then lose and win, and it felt like I was just permanently stuck in this point of limbo. It has been a battle so far today. I can't seem to get over this final hump, but I'm finally back at 8,897 points. I'm so close, yet it feels like I'm constantly so far. Okay, we took the first match. Can we take the second one? That's the real question here. How are we doing so much damage to the vault? What is happening? Who is on our... Oh, we have Melody. Oh, that's GG. Yeah, see you guys later. Back. <laughs> Yes, dude! Okay, this should... I mean, this could be it if we get 150 points, you know? Yes! Yes! Come on, boys! Oh my gosh, I didn't think it was actually gonna happen. I kind of just spoke it into existence, but there it is. 123 points, and we get the 1,000 credits! Oh my gosh. Bronze Masters only using Dynamite. Thanks for watching. Like the video. I'll see you guys later.